Hi guys, welcome back. So it's December 29th and it's the perfect time to do a video like this. Everybody's gone, business park's quiet, so it's perfect. Um, so the purpose of this video, what I'm gonna be doing is as you can see behind me here, obviously I've got all the cabinets and I may even delve into the centre reservation, which is here. So the whole purpose is I'm gonna now um, rip out everything out of the cabinets. I do this yearly, but this is the first time that I'm filming it. So the purpose of this is for people like me, and there's a lot of people out there as well, we like taking stuff out, organizing and putting back in, maybe even ripping back out. Um, I know it's not right, <laughs> but um, that's what I like to do. So another purpose of this, so this is kind of gonna be like a two or three in one video. This is kind of an unofficial update for not just the channel, the company inside there, you're gonna see some development products that we've had and failed or we've had and we're kind of going to go and move into it um, into kind of the further production further in the year we may even release some of the products you're going to see some of our development towers you're going to see some towers that we just get randomly sent from manufacturers which <laughs> there's, there's a really good one in there that we want to have a laugh about so um, it's, there's just a lot of stuff I'm going to be ripping everything out I'm going to be wiping down all the shelves I'm going to show you how I do it what I do it with as I said, all the products, we're going to organize everything, we're going to restock it, which is the most important thing. Even though we're not doing any services anymore, pretty much, the service, size, the service side base of the business is completely gone. But I want to restock it for myself because what's coming next is they're going to be the full correction series on the GTS. We're going to be introducing the new car, which is going to come onto the channel and we're going to obviously do various bits with it. But without further ado, Let's go and crack on with the raw footage of me ripping out some cabinets. All right, guys, so first cabinet. Um, this is used, so if you were to look at it from this position, I kind of try and keep it in order so that we do things and it's just easier for myself to kind of organize in my head and see um, kind of what's in there. And when the staff do come in, they actually know if you go to X cupboard, it's gonna contain X product. So again, this is our exterior cupboard, so wash, foam, all that sort of stuff. The bottom shelf is either the stuff that we don't do, our development stuff, or stuff that we will probably never produce, and we had to use it for coating packages and all that sort of stuff. So, again, on the left, you've got all the shampoos. Now, if you're wondering why I've got random things in random bottles, we're actually transitioning away from the yellow label as it's already happened with pretty much all the products apart from a handful. So rather than obviously chucking these in the bin, I get them myself and it's, cause you're gonna have to use it. The product is exactly the same, just a different label. In fact, I think one of the products, is it this one? Yeah, so if a label goes bad, so if the machine, the way it presses it down, it, if it doesn't do the right job or if there's an imperfection in the bottle, the label will bubble slightly. So we just reject the bottles immediately and we use it for ourselves. Now with this bottle, it's, it's actually quite funny because this is probably our V1 version that we had. And so if that's, if, if that's a V1 label, this is probably a long, long time ago, but the shampoo is still obviously full. And I'll probably keep some of these bottles as in the archive. One day we may have a wall of where we started with the products to where we are now, different iterations of labels. But if you look, it's, it's still says car shampoo on it. Obviously the, uh, the label is yellow and the black is just not good. I mean, you can, there you can see a few of the bubbles starting on the black. Now, again, our black has completely changed now. So it's gone. I'll compare it to you with one of the foams. You can just see there's a huge, huge difference. Again, the foam is yellow still anyway. But as I said, we need to use the product up anyway. We wash our cars multiple times a week. We've got more than one car. So this product comes in handy. So I'm still gonna keep it in here, but I'm gonna rip it out and the reason I'm ripping most of it out is because I need to wipe the shelves down. I've got some pure alcohol 
somewhere so it's just nice to have a, a clean slate all the units inside are painted so it's nice just to be able to wipe it now again obviously you've got our glass plus in here just like to keep it in the bag keep everything protected a few of the caps that i will never need again so they're going in the bin that's had water in it so it's all dead pretty much try and keep all the forms and stuff in one bit now the development products are coming i've already see a few now what you see here actually where is it ping you may be able to see and there's a lot of condensation of other heat on um, so it still says Hume detailer as you can see but if you if you've got a keen eye it's a different color to our detail spray so the way we do it we normally try and put existing kind of um, bottles and labels with new products that we're developing so people sometimes don't see what we're doing so obviously this product that we were developing is for the exterior of the paint so obviously put into a detail spray bottle so if somebody comes in or we're outside filming it people will never understand what it potentially could be it could be a new variation of detail spray but this is not a detail spray at all this is we've been working on a clay lube now clay lubes i'm a little bit dubious on reason is currently what's on the market apart from probably one variant um they're just pretty much remarketed detail sprays if i'm completely honest with you now our detail spray again if you've used it you know it's just super 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 slick that it's so we use our detail spray as is straight out the bottle and it's great as a lubricant for the clay bar clay mist clay cloth or whatever you use and it's awesome however if you have a car that's heavily contaminated or it's just completely just ruined with whatever agent that you're trying to exfoliate from the paint we're thinking right what happens if you do need that extra 10 15 percent lubrication now as i said because most companies do kind of rebrand their detail sprays into a clay lube now i'm not saying all of them do it some do some don't until we can come up with the, the formula that beats what we think is the number one currently in the world then obviously we're then going to release it so at, at the minute we haven't nailed it down to where you put it on a panel and you use our detail spray same clay mitts same clay bars you know same conditions and we yet haven't found a solution to where one slicker than the other so until that happens not going to get released but yes you've got we've got some pink ones here obviously it's just a simple color um kind of change on the formula so people you know have to keep guessing all the time but obviously as you see in the bottom of the bottle we've had some pink in here so these are all going to go in the bin now because we don't need them this is going in the bin as well so yeah the clay lubes i'm not yet convinced again see there's there's one with the trigger on right so the top shelf's gone bottom shelf i'm going to bring you in closer in if you're intrigued to actually see so again i've got this is for our coating packages that we use the black pack um crystal serum light and xov4 this is the v4 yes so that's the v4 variant i've got a top up of it here as well so personally i think this is my opinion only again that currently the best coating on the market that you can get hands down and i think it's been like that for a few years now is obviously the g technic line so csl stands for crystal serum light csl and exo which is the hydrophobic coating i've used this for a long time beforehand anyway however when somebody comes in and they say they want the black package from g technic so that's the one coat of csl two coats obviously evenly spaced apart um, and two coats of XOV4 and that what creates the black pack five-year um, warranty protection so the total service protection and exterior and I think this I mean the CSL itself 
it's the, probably the slickest cotton that you can ever put on in my experience it's so slick um it's just nice if you uh, I'm, I'm not the only person who says this as well it there's a lot of people who kind of have the same opinion as me and also when it comes to when it comes to um probably making a coat now we have had a coating in development already so it's well it still is in development and we're seeing how it performs you know gloss slickness real world durability and not people hammering with details uh, with apcs i'm sorry and acids because that really doesn't happen in real life so it's a stupid test um but when it comes to it maybe we might do a co-brand with uh g technic so we might tweak it a little bit more and uh who knows it's so we've already done it with the wheel willies we've already done it with mtm so g technic might be the third brand that we kind of partner up with and um, tweak it enough to where we say right this is actually better than csl and xos and we maybe make you know a new trend towards a different style of coating but the base kind of line of these two is amazing so again these are not here to be benchmarked against anything these are just here because i like using them customers requested it and obviously we've got some spares which i don't know if they're going to get used again or not but um yeah if we do need to use them that's what we normally reach for um the glass sealants in fact this is the so the g1 and g2 g1 is the is the kind of like residue the g1 can't speak english today the G1 is the glass sealant, the G2 is the residue remover, so pretty much like neat IPA. And we, in fact, this hasn't been opened yet. So we've had this for a year and a half now. I don't even know if it's out of date yet. <laughs> Whew, smells strange. So yeah, we haven't used this. We were going to uh, benchmark it against some of our kind of first variants of sealants. However, we saw this used on cars that we kind of maintain so this is why we use that as the benchmark and we use obviously other sealants and coatings as a comparison but i've heard these are good again i may have to try and use them on a different car that's not been treated and see how these fare up to real world conditions so again our yum ceramic is here new bottle of that existing bottles so in fact i've had this bottle Jesus, now it's been well over, I think, two years now. As you can see, the labeling's wrong, the triggers are wrong. So these were our first ever triggers. Awesome triggers, by the way, but we found even better triggers. So it, it had to go. But yeah, this, this is how much you use. In fact, look, there's a gap. There's a gap here, and it shows you how much we've used in two years. Um, not a lot, but yeah, it's, it's a very kind of durable long-lasting product that you don't need to use all the time again there's a little bit of remnants here and there Yum ceramics that we need to sort out more yum wash oh interesting the wax so this um the wax the yum wax and this is its bigger brother so the yum wax plus again you know what the plus means and we've actually managed to nail the same thing that we've put into the glass ceiling like i explained on the glass ceiling video into other products um i don't want to spill the stuff on me but yeah this again this was actually meant to be released right after it but we're not sure if we're going to do kind of two products in one of the same type again we don't normally do that sort of stuff now we may in the future we're still testing the stability of this but so far the the durability is improved the gloss has improved the slickness has improved the water behavior has improved and the removal is just as easy even though it's got some serious polymer kind of additive in there and we may actually replace the yum wax with the yum wax plus and obviously we'll we'll tell people when that happens but this is a very again very nice product again this is a show wax these are both show wax blends and it's never going to last you three months six months you know um in fact we've already had a german youtuber review the yum wax again some other stuff actually that that is sealant or synthetic paste waxes and actually this held up very very well um i think it ranked 
five out of 40, and then in, I think it won the category of the best show wax, what, in his opinion again. But in terms of being ranked fifth out of 40, where the first person who won it, um, what the first product was, I think, was uh, Sonax Polymer Shield or Sonax Polymer Net Shield, which is a sealant again. So that took the first spot, which actually shouldn't have been in the test. And the few other ones that came above it were synthetic waxes. So he was calling that A45, which again is not a really a true comparison with this because um, uh, colonite can probably last up to six months if you maintain it correctly. Whereas this, I'm telling you now, will not last you six months. It'll last you probably four weeks, eight weeks. It, it just depends what time of year that you're in. So for it to come fifth out of a field that was actually not really a, a show wax, liquid wax category, I think we may have won it. Um, but yeah, in fact, that's what he said as well. He said, if they had a bit more durability compared to the others, which like I've just said, it's, it was never built for that. I reckon we did win it, to be fair. He's, he's quite a, a big YouTuber, but uh, we didn't build it for durability. We just built it for that user experience and the gloss and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, Umax Plus, still in testing. Um, the smell of this, if I remember, green apple, oh. The green apple something like that really really nice i've got a spreadsheet of all the products that we're developing so in terms of the smells i'll i'll have a look but it's aptly um again oh this we've had again this is a long long bottle again all triggers um just a random bottle that we found so this is yum detailer plus this is the v1 of the detailer plus now we've actually We've completely turned two raw materials upside down on their head and it just completely changed the product again. So the V2 one that we're still waiting to receive is en route somewhere. So I don't know if it's going to be after Christmas or not um, or after the new year. But yeah, as we changed the two, the two raw materials, this as a topping agent, whether wet, dry, dry, you know it doesn't really matter but this is a topping agent whether it's wet or dry we normally use this dry but the slickness that this makes the gloss that it pops and if you've got say a wax based kind of product or polymer based sealant again of ceramics this is just oh it's just wicked you can put it on your glass in fact i tried this on the merc when we first got it again it wasn't clayed it, it was just washed, the glass was unprotected. Now I've put it on the windscreen, just wipe on, wipe off, really, really simple. It starts to actually evaporate so quickly that by the time you go and reach for the second cloth, it's gone. But once you wipe it with a dry towel, this just, the slickness, in fact, I'll have to show you this on, on one of the washing videos where we'll take an unprotected panel and I'll show you. But yeah, it's, it's a really interesting development that's, um, that's happening now. You could see for a detail spray, this unnaturally forms a lot that's all i'm going to say um it's a very interesting formulation that we've come up with and once it gets released as and when we obviously finalize it it's going to be wicked but yeah yum detailer plus um coming at some point again a measuring cup 50 mil i like to sometimes I never do it to be honest that's not my style but you know as to prove a point sometimes i like to really measure them out again this is a, a bigger measuring jug working on um glass plus oh yes so these interesting so again this is so car pro hydro 2 foam i'm not hiding anything it's an awesome product by the way really expensive actually i don't care about the price so to me with the effects that it has is really great but it's still to like certain people who kind of look at price per wash and all that malarkey which is ridiculous but to them this will be like worth ridiculous amounts of money it is expensive for what it is really good product now we we've been mining them all like all over the place this is a very thick liquid as you could see um and this also it's a little bit looser now these three products um represent a development that we've had for a rinse uh, a rinse on uh, a spray on rinse off 
kind of sealant that could be topped with um, topped on top of anything wax sealants ceramics um, it can activate the protection on any surface so whether it be glass wheels plastics um, your window wipers or anything that touches after it's pressure and stuff it's just giving you that protection it could give you anywhere between four weeks three months you know um, it really depends on the formulation and the type of driving that you do so again that's in the works whether we do it as a foaming agent or whether that comes pre-mixed in the bottle and we just say there you go this is the right dilution for you and go and use it so a ready to use product out the box who knows but again those products are being um, tested alongside obviously carpool there's there's others as well in that cupboard so uh gm record and all that sort of stuff so all the like all the big players in the market we're testing them and seeing how we fare up where we can tweak what we can but in fact the one thing i will say the carpool bottles they are nice like a tinted a tinted black gray like a gray bottle so yeah in fact i think we had a sample of the black we had like a, a see-through black pt bottle which was cool but um obviously because of the, all this stuff that's happening in the world it's quite hard to join a queue with a manufacturer because the queue is about four years long at the minute so they might come at some point again our applicator pads we had a few variants so we had small ones we had thick ones which i didn't like So we've got some suede applicator blocks for coatings. In fact, yeah, so um, Nanolab, they, they actually randomly were received this in the post. I, th I think most detailers received them and they just kind of said, here you go, use it, test it, share it on your social media. Obviously we didn't because that's not what we do. Because if we did, we'd have to advertise every other day because we get sent that, that much stuff saying kind of buy it now the only thing i like about this is the box that's not that, that's all i'll say the code was all right you know nothing i haven't seen before a replacement um synthetic clay block pad i've got one somewhere but um if you look here we've obviously that's a synthetic um, clay mitt another mitt which is now been stuck on for a while ah. I'm going to break in this so yeah I think that died yeah that's gone in the bin so yeah um, that's a brand new version of this we're just testing them this was on a clay block I don't know where the clay blocks actually gone it's around here somewhere but yeah that's a brand new replacement thing and we're actually trying to test how well we can cut all the edges in because it has to be perfect um, but the clay itself is actually really really good so they're coming soon as well another variant of a brush we got sent haven't actually used this as you can see this is completely fresh um, I'll do a close-up, really, really soft. As you can see, a different style head to ours. And then somebody decided to send this. <laughs> this is strange, this is how much garbage we sometimes get sent. Some plastic manufacturer in the UK decided to send us this because he saw, obviously, we do the brushes. He said, oh, you might offer this to customers. Now, first of all, it should actually hold further in. But as you can see, the brush drops and look, it does this so it's not very stable um if, if it was a bit deeper it, w it would actually be really really nice but yeah look it just it just drops so we, we just kept it and we just keep this one brush so we know um it's there in fact talking on brushes i'm going to go and get you some of our other developments so on the topic of brushes we are already developing a v2 set um, of our current brushes there's nothing wrong with our brushes they're amazing they we've sold gazillions of them which is also awesome customers are getting really amazing feedback on the interior the exterior now we always like to take a product 
pull it back off um, privately. So as soon as we launched, say the brushes will. So in the very next day, we started to develop a new set. So V2, V3, V10, V100. So we've, we've been sent a ton of samples, as you could see already. There's three different brushes for three different purposes. Now, I'll hide this brush because it's a, a different style. But as you could see with this brush, the head itself, the bristles. Well, first of all, I'm going to show you the length of the bristles. One, two, one sec. You can see that this brush is actually slightly smaller. Now the bristles, um, well, the bristles are shorter on the red. Now the bristles on this are ever so slightly, slightly firmer. So it's not firm, but you can test the difference already. So we're still obviously in, in progress of testing these, testing the molds, you know, whether they, they break or not. And obviously this as well is another style brush. So this is a different material altogether. And this is kind of a bit more stiffer. So you can start doing the tie walls with it, the door jams. Um, you can still use it on the badges, the wheels, but um, we'll probably use this on engine bays foot pedals or interior like kind of deep scrubbing if you want to exfoliate the leather or the plastics so while we were on this i just thought i'll show you but i think it's quite cool that we we have the opportunity to work with some of the the best manufacturers in the world and they're just quite happy to say look he's whatever you want and we've already started to alter various bits on the brush because they just said look whatever it takes we'll deal with you He's sample 110, so I've got millions of brushes everywhere at the minute, but I'm labeling them in certain things so I know whether the V1 is and the, where the V10 is because we then compare V1 versus V10 and see how far we've improved it. But if I, I'll put these in my little cup holder, which doesn't work. I'm going to have to chuck that. It's horrible. To the person who, who sent this, I really appreciate it, but it doesn't work. So we'll put these in separately i just don't want to mix these up so that's from here and these are there oh this is my favorite part this so i get to clean stuff i don't know why i like um cleaning so much it's i, I prefer cleaning my own stuff much better than i do um if it was you know if you're like a house cleaner and it's a job I don't think I'd enjoy it as much then, but so this is pure, so 99.9% .9 um, pure alcohol, absolutely stinks, so it's probably wake the dead. So, because these, um, these cabinets are painted, so again, you could treat it exactly like paint. In fact, some of the cupboards, uh, some of the cupboards are waxed and have like uh, yum ceramic and detail spray. In fact, I'll show you how I maintain them later. It's really, really cool. Um, it's so funny. So we use all our products that we use on the cars on these as well. So it's amazing. So I'm just going to quickly, because actually from the install in last, last January, actually, January 2020, um, I haven't cleaned these inside yet, if I'm completely honest with you. So there's no dust because they always get kept short. Ooh, see, when you get your hand in there, just a little cap. But is there more caps, more applicator blocks? And the reason for this job as well, to film it, is just it's just nice to kind of clean it out, chuck some of the gunk um, of your old developments that you probably will never use anyway. You say you're going to use them, but you, you never do. So have a spring clean in December which doesn't make sense but the thing about this alcohol I don't know if you can see that it flashes super quick so if you don't put too much on you can actually just wipe and walk away which is even more good for me because I, I still will give it a quick wipe just to make sure everything is gone but that's that's why oh, that's why alcohol is nice because it just flashes so so quick right so we've took everything out we're now going to put everything back in 
this time we're going to laser align everything so um, it's going to look beautiful. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I had shampoo, so you wash, you foam, you detailer on there. So I'll keep the open ones to the side because I'll probably use them first. Oh, by the way, as well, obviously you see a half empty bottle of shampoo here and a half empty bottle of shampoo there. So it's not like I'm just weird and open up different bottles at a time. Like I've just previously mentioned, as soon as we get a product launched, even though it's the best development that we have done at that time, it's, it's however long it takes, whether it takes one hour or, or, or one year, we immediately, like I said, pull it down privately in the background and we start redeveloping it. So some of these shampoos, in fact, there's a few serial numbers on the bottom here um, that, I, again, I've got on the spreadsheet and this designates to me, this has got more foaming ability. This one's got kind of higher cleaning power, less cleaning power. So we're always testing different things because don't forget if you've got out of a, say, a scale of 10, you can only put so many things in there to make it up to a 10. So if you reduce one by say nine, you've got the extra one digit to play with. So what do you do? Do you put more foam in there? Do you put more slickness, less slickness, more cleaning, less cleaning? Um, and every time you change one thing, other things increase. So this is why you can easily get 14, 15 variants of the same thing. And you kind of see real world again. This is none of the stuff is done inside here because it's, it's irrelevant because the conditions in here are perfect. And it's, and it's irrelevant to people like you who may not have a unit like this. So we do it all outside and again, different things. So I'm going to leave these actually out towards the side because I don't want to put them in with the mainstreams. So I don't know, I'm going to do rows of four. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. If we don't have enough here, we'll go and grab a few more bottles. So we've been doing a lot of development on the shampoo, so it's probably taken up half, <laughs> half of our shelf. So. Once we actually use up a few of these rows, we'll probably add a few more kind of foams and detail sprays in here. Now, the foam, I definitely haven't got enough foam in here. I've only got what? Three bottles. And I'm sure I've just seen a fourth somewhere. Utility towels, old utility towels, which we, we replaced with the new white ones. Um, actually good, because we're now using them as wheel towels or general purpose stuff we don't use on cars use them on windows in here and tables all sorts of stuff so um, you in fact you, you'll see there's a obviously I'm gold labels like apps it depends what light you catch them in they, look, they can look brighter they can look darker amazing obviously we've got a new a new dispensing unit at the top Sod's law with me, um, this happens every time. So we'll buy like, I don't know, 10,000, 20,000 pieces of this. And then <laughs> and a new one comes out somewhere in the world and we're like, oh wow, I want to try that one. We buy it in and we're like, oh, this is good. So, but then you realize you've got 20,000 of these and you're thinking, ah, oh, crap. So <laughs> luckily um, we don't actually last us that long. So it's, it's normally quite a quick change around. But this, I think this is going to be, well, I say this, this is what works for us at the minute. I think this is the best alternative from what you see here, which is the flip cap. You can hear it. Now this is great. Now, if you've got a, if you've got a bad aim or you want to do it into a very small orifice, this, because it's so thin, you give it a twist. As you can see, it opens up at the top and it's just a much better, solution for dispensing the liquid style product. So now the wax has got it, dress, shampoo, and everything really. So anything that is not sprayable comes with these um, new kind of caps. So it's easier for you to, whether you've turned the bucket or your wax, and this actually dispenses less liquid. So you actually have to forcefully eject it depending on the, um, on, on the viscosity of the product. So 
you can't over apply say a wax whereas with a disc top which we're testing it with you can press it and you know 100 mil comes out and you're like oh that's too much wax so that was a new thing that we kind of reintroduced so let's try and mimic this we'll try and do it four four across I like everything straight, so um, I'm a weird person to live with, so God bless Kelly. <laughs> um, so the next one's detail spray. So again, we're gonna be probably use this up. Um, this is obviously the clay loop, so we're gonna put it at the back because we're not gonna be claying any cars anytime soon, I don't think. In fact, I lie. The GTS is ready for a hammering. Now we use a lot of detail spray, so actually I don't mind put more than so what's I gonna want? So four across now and then five, six, I've probably got six across. Um, we use detail spray literally on everything. Drying the car, wiping the car, adding gloss to the car, so it's it's a very highly combustible product. I got it right. Oof, just so one, two, four, six, seven across. Again, we're gonna half empty bottles mean new versions. Mind you, it's very, very hard when this is the, the thing that I'm finding the worst um, at the minute is when you make a product like say our detail spray, everybody's everybody who's used it it's the feedback just couldn't be any better apart from the people who've used it and expected it to be something completely that it's not so obviously that feedback was like oh it, it doesn't offer you 47 bloody years of um of durability which i still believe the test press shouldn't do that so uh, because a lot of companies offer um detail sprays with polymers in there or a wax base but they don't advertise it so it's just like detail spray so when a person uses it they don't realize they could be using a ceramic infused one or a wax infused one or now with this whole uh graphing type so whereas our detail spray we, we, we advertise it as there's nothing in there obviously something has to be left with any product so you put water on the car it it fills the the swirls and scratches minutely but water is not obviously a filler until you wipe it off so with detail spray you will obviously feel that extra slickness being left behind now that's not a protective layer it will wash off probably the next time you wash it but for the duration that it's on the car it adds the gloss and all that sort of stuff so the feedback from the people who expect to give you 10 weeks of protection i'm telling you now you don't offer it so it's just the, the the gloss factor with the slickness and also the versatility because it doesn't offer you a protective layer you can use it to clear with you can use it to i don't know wipe something down because imagine you use a spray wax to wipe a light layer of dust off which i still do not recommend that you do and we never do that but if if that's the way you're inclined when you're doing it with a wax based or ceramic based um, polymer in there you have to buffer again so you are kind of if you've missed a little bit of dust or dirt and you've used a, a certain infused detail spray you have to buff it now if you miss that dirt you can see where i'm going with this you're going to start to to really kind of buff away all the residue swirling the car scratching the car you come to us you spend a lot of money to get the car fixed you know so um whereas with our detail spray you put it on if you put the right amount on it self evaporates it's got a self leveling formula um, especially in more humid condi oh, in, in warmer condition it just flashes off super quick so yeah it's very hard for us to the point that was i always digress but um when we try and do a v2 version of the detail spray i honestly think it's so good but how do you improve it unless you start putting in the protection and stuff in which i don't think there's an improvement it's more of a downgrade if i'm honest um, so we are trying to kind of pick at it and see if we can add the more slickness, but you, if you put more of it in, it just kills the whole formula. If you, if you don't put enough in, obviously it's just useless. Um, but the levels that we have got it at right now, it's just right. I think because I've got Kelly here, this, this video might just take 
past four hours because I like to talk, so hope you guys have got a cup of tea. So again, this is our new, new labeled version. In fact, it makes, I am honestly, I, I'm convinced of this, that the, the type of foil and the foiling process that we've used, which may I just add, is an absolute nightmare. We've been tracing this from the day we got the yellow labels. Kelly's never let me forget this. Um, we kind of went for a metallic, which we've had to pay loads of plates for. I chose the wrong color, then I couldn't do it. So we had to go to the closest thing, which um, I thought was gold. Um, obviously, I must have been colorblind that day because it's not gold. Um, so we've been chasing this stupid gold for so long. And there's, if, if you got, if this is a brand watching the video or you've used other brands with a gold, a gold foil kind of thing, actually, they're really rare. Uh, because they're so expensive there's so much there's so much different shades of kind of gold that first of all the hard thing is to find it and then the second of all they've got to put a, a foil back in behind it then they've got to foil it now the signature the registration of the machines if it's too small it comes out of character if it's too big well in fact if it's too big there, there are no problems so but the gold, I am convinced of this, and this is across all the products, but mainly the ceramic, I'm just looking at the shop, detail spray, glass cleaner, well, in fact, everything bath and wheel cleaner. Um, it changes, like, it's very hard to see on camera, but if you were to compare, it's, I mean, obviously this is, very hard to see on camera but if you're in real person like in real life when you saw a yellow labeled um detail spray and you see this this actually looks like on a not or gray kind of scale yet if you were to pour this out into a normal clear bottle like this it's just it's it's just pure white so the foiling's adding a real cool effect which we didn't actually do it for that reason but now that we have done it it actually looks even cooler on the shelves so yeah, but I think the gold, again, it's added a massive cost, again, per bottle on top, which you guys obviously aren't bothered about because the price of the product is still exactly the same. However, it's added more of a, a cost. The labeling machine has to be tweaked ever so slightly to apply less pressure because foil can scratch. So, there's, there's been a bit of a headache, but the overall experience of the bottle now, especially when you receive it and you use it, um, it's just tightened a little bit more, which is just adding to that final goal that we're trying to chase, which I still don't know what it is. But one, two, three, four. Now, do you tell me that this does not look sick? I think this, this setup that we are reorganizing, I think it's every man's dream. Um, it's crazy. It's nice to open up your cupboard and just to see everything's done by you, really, you know. And uh, in fact, we get a lot of people ask, saying, oh, do people bottle for you? Do they label for you? And I said, I bloody wish, because if they did, um, I'd have nothing to do. <laughs> um, but again, it's not me really who does it anymore. Kelly doesn't do it anymore. We have a team kind of behind us who who do that, which opens, what well, it makes us redundant from that area of the business to where it makes us more active in certain other areas of the business. But um, it's just nice when we've done it, that's the word, when the, the, the company have actually bottled it, you know, the trigger, it's just a feeling that I can't describe to you where even the triggers, you know, it's the best triggers in the world. And you know, you've had to source them and you've had to speak to Italy and, you know, they can't speak English, you can't speak Italian and then we've had to kind of manage with, uh, <laughs> with broken English. But it's just a nice feeling, as I said, when you open the cupboard and you've got this now array of just perfection that you can tap into at any time, you can wash your car at any time, there's nobody here to bother you and it's you can just really de-stress it's, it's a little bit of therapy really in my eyes but anyway so the three um three things have been done here awesome 
So wash, foam, detail spray. Some of the stuff I will throw out now. So this is, as I said, it's an excuse. These actually, these are actually our applicator blocks for the Young Glass Plus, and we will actually use them as well to coat cars if we ever have to coat a car again. However, the reason why I've got so many here, in fact, next door I've got about 40 to 60, I think, um, is because when, when we're unpacking them, when we're checking them, and we use this very special method, it's a proprietary method that we use to get rid of kind of like the packaging dust, only on the whites. So on here there isn't anything, but on the whites sometimes, you know, there's like a, a dust spot and stuff. But some of them through travel or through a misprint have been either misprinted, they've got too many imperfections in the foam block, we, we just reject them. But because we don't throw them out, I use them because there's nothing wrong with this side. This side has never been damaged. It's just for the visual purposes. This is just, again, you're, you're paying a premium price for a premium product. You don't expect to see, like, I'll give you an example here. You're going to laugh at me, but hold on. If you can, it's, I don't know if you can even see that on camera, but there's a little line just here and it's it's probably caught a box or something and to most people you'll say you've just wasted money by not sending this out but to us that is a massive imperfection so we have a lot of rejected items that, that we have to use anyway I'd, I'd rather dip into a bad item that has been messed up whether it's by us or obviously like all the other companies or rather than dipping into kind of like a brand new set, which is perfect, because at the end of the day, you guys should have all the perfect stuff. Now, how many have I got here? Two, four, six, seven, and obviously the development ceramic version. So that's eight. That's probably enough wax to last me till I'm 75. But why the hell not? In the summer, the cars are gonna get waxed like weekly. Um, overkill, yes. I just love doing it. I don't think I'll ever break away from wax, ever. Quite unlikely. So, oh yeah, look at that. A whole row of wax. Um, see, I don't really like this. But then it kind of shows, this might be like the development cupboard where you can see it. I might move them a bit. I always like to leave a space in between the stuff so I can tell what's what. So ceramics, obviously I need to use them shampoo so it's no development. Um, oh, yum ceramic. Let me make a little tiny, teeny roll of this. I think some of the other cupboards you'll find a little bit more interesting than this because um, there's some talk on points I want to really touch on and mention a few of the companies which I think you'll find interesting. So again, these are again now stocked with the gold labels, which is what I want. Everything's the same. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. Again, ceramics and the wax and the young wax. There's just so much in here that I'll probably never get through it all, but, the, but then again, this is like a one-off stock. Um, two, four, six, eight, nine bottles. I'll never use it all. Um, so blocks, bin, 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 caps in the bin. So the only thing I need to really keep is I'm going to put the applicator blocks here, measuring cup in the corner. And the synthetic clay, once I find the main thing, is there. Um, and a glass plus here. Damn, I don't like it. There we go, right in the corner. That's kind of like the replan of the, of the others. Once I'll, I'll put these down individually here, face down. And then the block replacement pad 
bosh done um everything else i'll oh in fact i've got my suede applicator cloths which i need to use up because again i'll never use suede again only because i've got our applicator pads now so don't waste money buying suede that, that i don't need to so the suede goes there um and the brush will go over there as well but apart from that i'm just going to go and get a bin and chuck all the stuff that i've found in here in the bin so moving for number two cupboard you've got uh the wheel and tire cupboard so as you can tell what's going to be in there's not going to be many products so again wheel and tire cupboard we've got wheel cleaner so you wheels you undress you dress which is there we've got a ton of bottles of dress but i'll explain to you why in a, in a second and then um with with wheels and tires we try and do kind of exhausts but the exhaust section is not very big because you use it to clean with the young wheels now i'm just trialing a little bit of um corporal metallic cut every time i run out i always buy a tiny weenie bottle of something else again you want to try and experience yourself with as many products as you can now um metal polishing you kind of products you don't go through as quickly as you do other products so um i think this is range number like 11 for us or 12 so well we'll try 12 different products from 12 different brands now metallic cut i can quite easily tell you i do not like it it's first of all it stinks if you open this bottle and take a whiff it'll knock you out um <laughs> second of all i've just found when you especially when you're doing exhausts or polished wheels um it's on the wipe off so obviously they all kind of they go through the same motions of you know you've got to um, agitate them with wire wool or a towel or a drill attachment but when you remove it some of them just go off you know whereas with this you you wipe it then you smear it and then you've got to put a bit of pressure in so really i do not like this for those reasons that i've mentioned so um obviously i've got to use this up i never like wasting a product i mean the result it gives is great but the whole removal process i'm not a fan of so in fact in here i've got another one of these <laughs> world famous things so yeah that's going in the bin um and also i've laid down some of our old towels in here because when you're dealing with wheel cleaners and um undress dress if it starts to maybe drip a little bit or you put it on the floor to pick some up it leaves huge stains on here i'm super paranoid so obviously i've got my black utility towels here which is great um now the reason why we've got so much dress in here i've got two four six seven, we've got about eight different bottles is because we're trialing different things now as if you followed us from the beginning but as you know when we were chasing the whole trim dressing tire dressing you know all that sort of stuff and in fact we've had a lot of emails about the video so it's in fact it's one of our most highly watched videos on youtube it's the engine bay detail i think the i think the tags are just really relevant because everybody wants to do an engine bay detail and um we use this specific product in there on the engine bay wet we sprayed it on we just we closed the bonnet and it was done so we get a lot of people say oh when's that product coming out or, or what is it now the reason behind the dress story is the fact that we really struggle with a tie dress and don't get me wrong tie dresses are a dime a dozen you can only skin a cat so many times as i also keep saying so all dressings do the same job right and all shampoos do the same job however this is the biggest however and this is where the car care industry is really kind of diverse or any industry because a knife is a knife but you can buy a two pound one from tesco you can buy a 400 pound one from a specialist kind of kitchen knife maker but they're still cut right so with dress we couldn't just get it right so yeah it darkened the wheel it added a bit of protection on it you know it, it did xyz but it didn't last it slung it, it the application wasn't the best and then the durability wasn't the best the effects you know too glossy too uh, or not glossy enough so we really struggled with it the water-based side of things so obviously that's silicon dressing the first um you know the second time we revisited it we dropped the silicon idea with the right Okay, 
let's do water-based and silicon at the same time. So we'll do a development on the water-based front and on the silicon front, two at once, and see which one we come up with first. Now, the water-based side, yeah, they're beautiful to use. You put it on and um, they give you a nice effect and they're really workable because you can dilute them and stuff. But the ones we were kind of trying to develop for a specific purpose, of uh, potential future dilutability, so whether you can put it into a bottle and dilute it yourself, we just couldn't crack that side, so that got dropped. And at the last moment, the new raw ingredient came along, where it kind of changed the whole thing for us with Yum Dress. So, and this is where Yum Dress is born. And obviously, if you use Yum Dress exterior trims, it's a king on tires, really durable. You can knock it down, all that sort of stuff to make it, you know, matte satin, all that. Um, but we've always, as I said, we've, we've got nine bottles in there at varying kind of uh, levels in the bottom. So we've been trying new things with it. So that's why there's so many bottles. Again, as you can see, this is a non-see-through version. So it's completely kind of condensed. This is a weird mix. It's water and silicon in one. Don't ever forget that when people say it's a silicon dressing, um, people go, oh, I can only use water-based. Silicon is still in water-based dressings, and there's water in silicon-based dressings. It's just if it passes the threshold, so let's say 50-50, if one becomes 51-49, that's 51, let's say water, it's water-based, right? So this is, um, this is, again, a hybrid of the two. It's, um, it's really hard for us at the minute with this. It's... It's really good on tires, on the trims, it's just uh, no good because it's a whole different um, composition of, of material. So we're still working on this. Again, I haven't got high hopes on it, but I never do on the first attempt. And um, that's really, ooh, one more, one more. Now this is a really, really interesting product. So this is from um, Upsize Garage. As you all know, he's my biggest idol. He, um, I watch all the videos, I just, yeah, I, I am bought into him massively. I've bought a lot of stuff from him, um, even though it costs an absolute fortune for shipping, taxes, the products aren't cheap. Now, this product is definitely not cheap, but who cares, right? The product's good. He's broken down his costs, which, which is why a product is the product. Um, so anyway, I want to support Matt from Obsessed, to obviously his team, his family, and all that sort of stuff. I, like, as I said, I'm really bored into his idea, and anywhere I can support, he probably does not need my support, but I still give it to him. So I bought his newest, um, so he's, he's mainly a reseller, but he started to do his own line of products. He's done a decon wash, now he's done, obviously, his tie dressing. Now, he even admits the development time wasn't, you know, there, as in it was... It was introduced for a friend, for a friend. Oh, I've just got some on my lip. Um, but the smell on this is just ridiculous. Um, so he, you know, it, he, he, he said he's had help with this product. The professionals who helped him behind it, obviously the chemist. Now, if you watch his videos, I'm not going to reveal the chemist, but um, he reveals the chemist of, of, of who did it. So I thought, you know what, buy. I mean, this is what? So this is 500 mil bottle, right? Is it 500? Yeah, so 500 mil, and it cost, I think, $38, $39. This is just for the product itself, so, um, yeah, it's, it's not cheap. And then you've got shipping, um, income, uh, import tax, all that sort of stuff. So, overall, the bottle probably came to 100, I think it was 100 quid, right? 100 quid all in for a 500 mil bottle. But um, I thought, come on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use it because uh, if, if you support somebody truly, who cares about the cost? Um, so I use, this is a very, very nice dressing, I, I will admit. So this is water-based. I haven't tested it to the extreme where I put this into a bottle and maybe mix it 50-50 for engine bays, or I try to probably use it neat on engine bays. But on tires, this is nice, very, very nice. Um, it leaves a nice finish. You can knock it down again if you like it, like he does. He likes it like really matte or on the satin side. Um, I like it on the glossier side of satin. 
but if you leave this as it is without knocking it down it actually leaves a really nice finish so i've had this for a couple no about six months so the fill ring is here and i've used it here so again it's really economical it depends how you use it lovely Ooh, nearly dropped it uh, really lovely dressing so this would be kept um here because it's nice to benchmark uk chemistry versus us chemistry um i can go and buy a chemical guys dressing or an adam's dressing um, which I have and I've got but um, this from this chemist and from Matt I know what he looks for is quite similar to what I look for in product so um, it, it was very interesting to actually see the thing in person smell it feel it you know use it and interesting so I am benchmarking this against the UK kind of chemistry and, and what we're doing as well so um, I'm not going to go any further about this but Matt from Obsessed is beautiful. Again, so, ooh, I need to wipe that down. So this is, God, this is a long, long, long time ago. We tried to do a trim wax or tie wax, um, a trim and tie wax. And when you see it, um, it smells exactly the same as dress, but have a look at that. So it's a very, so it basically looks like um, a paste wax. It, it's black or a dog gray. It's got, so this is, this is what I mean. So this is silicon based. Again, I'm gonna teach you a little bit about this. So when people think silicon, um, they automatically think of the wrong things and they automatically say all silicon dressings or like super like car wash shiny yeah you know the people you see on the corners they slap it on with a paintbrush and it's a pow um that's not the case this has got i think seven different or eight different silicons in this and this is very matte as in you put it on and you cannot see it or almost you can't see it like you, there's a faint if you look from the side of a tire or, and you stand like this at a certain angle, you could see where the main tread is and where you've treated it with this. Um, obviously, you can keep adding layers on. It's not the easiest to apply to a tire, but it's actually really durable. It's, re it's really, really nice. It, it's more of a, a feeder into the tire. So, God, this is... <sighs> Trim and tire. Uh -huh. And the reference is 2018. 2018 we're almost in 2021 so this is how long ago this this was um i may revisit this at the time it's just i didn't the reason we didn't pull the trigger on it is there was just something about it i didn't like so i need to use this again multiple times just to see what it was but uh, as i said it's durable it's nice um it's very matte as in you can't see it so if you like that sort of stuff and as I said, it's silicon, so don't think all silicons are super, super shiny. Um, but it was matte, and mm, it's, I'll have to use this on camera, and I'll have to show you guys what it's like. But again, God, that's almost three years ago now. Well, two years ago. So you've seen that. You've seen the metal polish. Again, the dresses I'm going to pull off. In fact, we've got so many different pucks. I'm going to, so obviously these are our applicators. For the tires, I mean, these have been in our possession for a long, long time now. So I may, I may just bin the old ones and just stick with the new ones on this one. All right, so we've got it. Oh, by, by the way, how cool is this? So we're, we're toying with our idea. Look at that. A mini me. Tiny, tiny thing. Um, so I'm keeping this for the water-based stuff, this for our stuff, just so I don't get confused. So in fact, while I'm here, sin, put these in the bin. And obviously these are all completely new. Um, we rejected these. Um, there's just a, a, like an uneven, Full mark. I don't know if you can see that there. Tiny uh, like a really tiny abnormality, abnormality in the foam. So it, 
it, it is what it is. So we'll level them off here now. Again, bin. All right, so um, let's organize the dress. Like I said, we've been trying to crack better versions like we always do. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Now, realistically, long-term, um, I will most likely, even though that it's more durable than a water-based dressing, um, we might completely reformulate the Yum dress. So the Yum dress will still be the same name, same properties, but a slightly different blend because it's just more versatile. Um, people want us to do interior dressings, which oh, I'm not gonna do that uh, because that's just not what I want and not what I use myself personally. So why would I make something I don't use? Um, so interior dressings are off the cards completely. I mean, we get off. We get a stack of emails like this monthly saying, are you doing interior dressing? Are you doing interior dressing? And no, we're not. So very unlikely that we do this. So the fact that if you've got a water-based dressing and if somebody wants, you know, if, if they please or, and if they want to use a dressing on the inside of water-based dressing, if you dilute it really well and correctly, so low dilution ratios, you can actually use it on the inside at your own kind of request. So your dress may go. Again, we'll, we'll put these together. In fact, I'm gonna put them like this, so I know. So the yum dress thing, I don't need to pull anything off because of how much I've got of it. In fact, what I'll do, because these towels, as you can see, actually, a little bit of um, undress. It's dripped on it here. A little bit of tie dressing is dripped. So this is why we've got this towel because now there's nothing there. So this is going in a hot wash. But we'll take our alcohol actually and wipe it down. My towel. You've got a two towel method, everything, including the cabinets. Um, in fact, what I'll do, I'm going to pull this whole thing because I can feel that towel's bleh, it's wet. This towel, because this is where the dress actually lives, so this is going to go in the wash, so the towels get messed up and not the, the shelving itself. Please tell me, in fact, this is really interesting in the comments, am I really that anal? Because it really seems that I've made people thinking, what the hell is he doing? But I think to have an anal, uh, to have a, um, to have a personality like me, so an anal personality in the business that I'm in, is actually a blessing. Because if I was just the average Joe, with uh, that will do attitude or approach, I don't think it would bode very well for the, for the product line. Undress. So, you all knew the saga that we had with this. Still to this day, the proudest, longest development. No, in fact, I lie. Um, second longest development behind the Yum Ceramic. Um, but in terms of what it was, I mean, because the Yum Ceramic style product, you've got to think of more than just one thing. Whereas Yum Dress has got one job to do, and that's, look, you've got to clean the tires. Um, and... If you watch, in fact, if you're on the membership platform, you will see the struggle that we had with that product, test after test after test. Um, it just, it, w it was never right for us. And almost like with the Yum dress, we almost dropped the idea. We thought, you know what, no, we're just not gonna do it. People are gonna have to buy it from another company. And we literally bought every time rubber cleaner in the world, for anywhere from Japan to America and anywhere in between, we bought them all, spent an obscene amount of money, trialing all the products and um, yeah, they all do the same job, but I mean, the, it wasn't, I thought it's not like amazing, you know, yeah, clean the, clean the tire, ooh, it foamed up. But then when we started doing torture tests on it, where it was not unrealistic, 
where people, as I said, do it with APCs and alkaline and acid sprays to test the wax, because that's never going to happen. But where I was torture tests, we did um, freshly dressed tires. Um, like literally, we washed the car, dried the car, kept it outside, dressed it, uh, left it for an hour, came back to clean the tire again. So that was a torture test. And I think that was just a perfect sample. And all of these products that we had bought in all failed on this test. And I thought, mm, interesting, even though no, it's never gonna happen uh, this way. But I thought, well, let's try it. So anyway, we, we developed it off the back of that. So um, if you dress your tire with any dressing in the world and drive your car for a week or two, you know, this will just destroy it, you know, completely just destroy the tire to where it's just squeaky clean. It, any gunk, junk that's on or in the tire will get removed because if it can do it to a fresh, a freshly dressed tire, any of the tires is just no problem. So this product we use the most of, you can use it on your engine bay, um, which I highly recommend because again, you've got potential of the usual salts, dirt and grime, but oil as well. So this is an awesome degreaser. In fact, it's not in the degreasing category, if, if you know what I mean. So obviously it, it kills the grease, it removes it, but it's not in that type of category. It's not in the wheel cleaner category, it's not in the all-purpose cleaner category. I think we just made our own category up with this one. It's, um, it's got all sorts of stuff in here. It smells really nice, which again was the hardest thing for us as well, um, because everything just killed the formula, because the formula is that strong. Um, it's like the scent is really important to kind of try and mask it unless you want to be high when you're um, cleaning the car. So this product, seriously, um, probably one of our proudest achievements because of how long and how close we were to giving up. Um, yeah, I think it's not going to be beaten for a very long time, if ever. Um, we are trying to reformulate it now as we speak it's 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 going nowhere it, you can't make a stronger product of this however it's going to be a ridiculous alkaline okay it's going to be like ph 1 million that's not a real number by the way but it's going to be a so so high ph level like close to a 14 scale that if you breathe or look at it touch it on your skin it's really hazardous and we don't want to make a product where an end user who will not have the proper PPE, may not have the right gloves, etc., etc., gets it on their skin and, you know, push it down. So you can beat it in terms of alkalinity levels, uh, but in a home user environment that we are kind of where we have 99.9% .9 of people um, of, as customers, I don't think this will ever be beaten for the safety of the formula versus the obviously the end result so yeah on dress i use a ton of this personally it's everything so arches so in the wheel cleaning process i will hose down the arches with this as i'm cleaning the wheels so this will give it time to uh, break down all that stuff um obviously engine bays clean my engine very regularly so it has to be done and of course on your tires every wash whenever you wash the car whether it's well not daily but if you wash your car weekly bi-weekly yearly please this product is a must for it to adhere or, or prepare the surface to adhere to something like your dress or whatever else product that you use yum wheels one of our best sellers if not our best seller you know so between the ceramic the detailer and the wheels those three products are firmly at the top of the top sellers list only because you used um, two of the three more and um, second of all because it's just so good really um, but young wheels young wheels you can't have a generic it's almost like a product information video this but it's really interesting because I'm reflecting on the year you know um, but you can have you know just a generic wheel cleaner where there's no reactive properties to it so it just foams up it degreases awesome yeah, and then you can follow it up with a fallout remover, a dedicated fallout remover um, every every three months. Awesome, yeah? Which is, is honestly, that's a good way of doing it. Uh, but most of the wheel cleaners, this is through our testing, okay? 
and this is official testing, this is not my opinion, Kelly's opinion, your opinion, you know. Um, through our testing in the lab, which, which is the most important thing, where we can see the physical raw material content, we found that most non-reactive wheel cleaners are really down in numbers, really, really down, um, in terms of the raws, so, so the raw material. The reactive side of things, so the fallout removers, I think there's like one product, but even still, that one product is not um, at the top level of the threshold. So we know the threshold on this product. Um, so I just don't understand why, obviously, they've, they've got a margin to kind of maintain because they build the price, uh, they build the product to a price to where they can sell it at a certain price. Uh, but then I thought, right, so you, you're going to sell people potentially two products, one for the wheels, one for the, like, the fallout part of it. Why not combine it? And it's never been done before, actually. It's never ever been done. People say they've done it, but they haven't. Uh, because the people that have said they've done, I've bought that product, and I tested it in the lab, and uh, yeah, they're not telling you the truth. And I found this out and I thought, that's really interesting. So what we did is we tried to combine a degreaser, so a wheel, well, multiple wheel degreasers, with multiple fallout agents. Now the funny thing is, this thing, which is a not a dedicated fallout remover, has got more fallout raw materials than fallout removers. Interesting. And then it's got more degreasers than a degreasing wheel cleaner. Interesting. So we combined it. Never been done before. Um, it was very hard because the formulas used to, um, or did, bounce off each other. The formulas failed. So when a formula fails, it'll look like this. You spray it on a wheel and nothing would work. So we had to tweak obviously colors, scents, raw material numbers, but we've managed to hit this to threshold. It's been on stability, it's been obviously the advanced um, weathering machine where it, it replicates a certain amount of time in minutes, so heat, weather, wind, all that sort of stuff, UV. Um, and yeah, this, this wheel cleaner, you can use it on paint, you can use it on wheels, all type of wheel finishes, bar, exposed raw aluminium, which again, you can't use most stuff on it anyway, but because it has a reactive side to it and it's got no protective coating like um, a clear or any actual coatings, it will just eat into it and oxidize very quickly because it's again, it's exposed metal, but water will do that to it too. And yeah, this is a staple now, I think. This is one of these wheel cleaners that we, this wheel cleaner gets tested amongst other wheel cleaners in the category that claim that they are what they're not, but okay. Uh, but there is one company, a UK based company, uh, no, in fact, not the German based, that the HQs in Germany that they said the, if you go on any forum, they said this is the king of wheel cleaners. And we've actually pushed people to say, look, it's not, try ours. So when this gets compared, actually, it spanks it. The only difference between ours and theirs is the price. Ours is a tad more expensive, but it's stronger, it's more effective. So you actually use less of the wheel cleaner than you would use of the other wheel cleaner, which is cheaper. But Young Wheels, we're really proud of this formulation. Again, we use this everywhere, paint, wheels, um, maintenance, fallout remover treatment. So we'll probably do it once a month where we'll do specific parts of the car, especially if we know we've been driving a lot. We'll do maintenance ones where in between foams, we'll apply it remove it and we'll hand wash the car anyway so it, I almost broke the mic there it fell off but it, it keeps the iron levels down and yeah it's um it's now a staple within if I need to pull these two out it's a staple within um heavy wheel cleaning the good thing about it is it's good to go out the bottle so you don't need to mess around with no dilution ratios it rinses clean. It, it both reacts to iron um, fallout, which your brakes consist of, but not all your brake pads and discs are consistent of that. It also hits the dirt, the grime, the soot, the silt, everything that normal cars pick up. And also carbon ceramics, which is really, really important. So it's an interesting, it's, it's an interesting product. If, if you open it, if you actually open the bottle, it's, it's got that telltale smell. 
of the fallout agent, so the sodium thiglucolate, sodium thiglucolate, it's a tongue twister. If you know the name, you know, but sodium thiglucolate. Um, it's got the telltale sign, however, it's not. When you open it, it kills your nose because we've incorporated, again, other things into it. So the, the other raw material part is not the whole bottle and we've masked it with the, the right scent. So it smells, but it doesn't smell as bad, which is good. But I'll keep these two little remnants here. And that's the wheel cleaning cupboard done. Everything's in order. We've got our new pokes, everything's fresh. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you. Now, everybody knows this is coming because um, I, I filmed it in the, in the undress uh, video, how to clean a tire properly, a new tire video. But these are our brushes. Look how beautiful they look. So it's really nice, all black, so you won't be able to see as much as on a white brush if you are cleaning horrific tires for years and years to come because these are really durable. And also the biggest thing that we've did is if you've got one of these brushes, so I think the original makers of the most tough shine, which is great. However, their bristles were slightly too, st well, more stiffer than this. Not too stiff because it's, it, it doesn't really matter. But we've actually made them ever so slightly softer. So when you push it against the tire, I would probably say there's a 25% more flex within the fiber, which means you can put more pressure on it. There's less sling because they don't snap back at, um, as quick against the tie wall. Yeah, it's just a very good, it's going to be a fairly cheap tool, and, um, but it's a very important tool. It really helps you with this. So these will be coming soon. I'll show you a bit on these. Look at that. Beautiful. And that's that to complete it.